Ray and I are taking advantage of a Friday here to scrape the floor of any paint drops or sprockles, we call them sometimes, and sand the floor lightly to put the final coat of finish on, allow this floor to sit without anybody in the house for several days. Now, I wanna say that I really like a sanded floor because I like the look of it, but also it's less stressful during construction when you're not worried if you spill a little bit of paint on it because you know you can scrape it off. Unlike a pre-finished floor where you don't wanna touch that finish with anything, any kind of sandpaper, any kind of uh, knives or scraper blades, you really just about have to cover the floor completely the minute that it's installed. We are gonna sand this lightly, put the final coat. This will be the third and final coat of finish on the floor. We're using the Czar oil modified polyurethane. And then this thing can sit for a little while and should be hard enough to have full traffic on it next week. five minute epoxy to fill these giant knot holes that are like giant voids and I'm putting some of my black chalk from my chalk line in the epoxy to make it dark colored just like the knots are. This is going to set up in only a few minutes and we'll be able to scrape it off or sand it off and then lay our final coat of finish over top of everything including those knot holes. That one's almost hard enough. I'm going to try to sand it off. On this final coat of finish, I'm gonna be straining the finish because these cans have been opened and there could be chunks of stuff or dried finish that fell in the can from opening the lid and stuff. So I want this last layer to be pretty thin and I don't want to have any debris in the material. So I'm gonna filter it. I did not do that on the previous coats, knowing that I would be sanding it multiple times. I wasn't really worried about that. It's the first day back to work after the New Year's celebration. We have lots to do and try to finish up in only another week. My goal was to be done with this project at the end of the year, and guess what? Well, the end of the year came and went, and now it's 2023. We have about a week's worth of work to do, which I think is perfectly fine because we have no hard deadline. Uh, I do wanna get it done though because I need to get people to be able to stay there so it can begin to produce income and serve its purpose. My job today is to try to build this hood. I'm almost done, but it's taken forever because I have so many other side projects to be working on. Well, I have my cardboard model made now and it took a lot of taping and cutting and piecing together. So I'm glad this was done in cardboard instead of metal first. Now I think I can just lay this flat on my piece of sheet metal, trace it, cut, cut the shape out, and then I should at least have the exact shape copied into metal. Then I have to make it bend like this piece of cardboard bends. And I think that's gonna be the hard part. I don't know how I'm gonna do it other than a hammer and other things I have around here just to beat it into shape with. I mean, we did it once before. I guess we can do it again. It worked fine. Just a lot of hammering. So put in the ear protection and uh, start swinging, I think. It's not that big, is it? Oh. <sighs> I might be able to use one of the edges though, like that. I've just had an idea here. Now this curve is not perfectly consistent and I bet if I flip my pattern over and trace it again, then I'll see those inconsistencies show up in my two differing pin lines, and it'll allow me to average the curve and end up with a better cut on the first cut. We flipped the pattern and double traced it. You can see I have two different lines here, 
and it's actually not nearly as bad as I thought it would be. So I feel pretty confident that this shape is going to fit pretty much right away and uh, will require minimal trimming and fitting. Bending this piece into kind of like a half of a funnel was actually easier than bending that piece into a tube. And uh, I don't know exactly why it's easier, but I just started bending it kind of like this around something like this workbench and it started bending. Now what I'm doing is I'm feeling for giant flat spots, which are pretty easy to find. And then I'm putting that flat spot on the edge of my board here. And I'm just kind of giving it like a little bit of a chiropractor kind of move here and uh, it's kind of putting some shape into those flat spots and really that's it there's not much else to my technique here it's simply making um, the flat spots be curved and I'm actually trying to overbend it a little tighter it's easier for me to spring it apart and have it kind of stick on the form there than it is for it to be open too much and me having to keep pushing the sides down so uh, a little overbent is what I'm going for. Dark metal, black lines, getting dark outside. Great. There's only a few more pieces to make for this hood. And probably the hardest is gonna be this curved piece to make like a little trim or a band around the bottom of the bell or the funnel piece. Now, the only thing I can think of is to cut out the shape just the same as the funnel at the bottom edge and then bend that piece to go in there. It's gonna, it's gonna be terrible. Actually, I'm not really looking forward to it. You can see I have these shapes drawn out here roughly and uh, it's not real pretty. I mean, that was just one little round of hammering. Let's see, let's see how it is. Oh, well, a little more, a little more hammering. Yeah, but hey, it's not, it's not all that far away. Jason, welcome back, buddy. Hey, what's going on? After the new year, decide to take an extra day off, huh? Good move. I don't know why I didn't think of that. We need to take a lot more days off. I think I we should just not work, but get paid somehow. I don't know. If we could make that work, that'd be great. It's a great idea. Well, my man here is going to cut some bars of steel. These are half inch by half inch square solid stock. And what that is going to be is a handle for the front of our rolling crates, we're going to call them. Right here. So there's going to be a big uh long steel bar handle for a drawer pull handle i was going to make a cutout like like a half moon or maybe even an oval cutout in this top board but that got vetoed by some of the others and we decided to go with this hardware style handle This video is brought to you by AG1 by Athletic Greens. And what I've found in my life is that my health is priceless. Like if I'm not healthy, nothing else matters. I need to be the leader of my family's adventures. I gotta go to work every day and I just wanna feel good. It really matters to me. And that's why I'm trying to make healthy habits now that support my health and make me feel great. 
If you're not familiar with Athletic Greens, it's a comprehensive all-in-one greens powder engineered to fill the nutrition gaps in your diet and support your body's nutrition needs across four pillars of health, gut health, immune support, energy, and recovery. It's packed with 75 vitamins and minerals and whole food sourced ingredients, combining the perfect amount of micronutrients, absorption, and taste to jumpstart your daily routine. It's just one scoop in eight ounces of water once a day, that's it. And even though Athletic Greens is green, it does not taste like broccoli or ground up Brussels sprouts. To me, it actually has a semi-sweet taste to it. I really love the extra energy level I feel all day long when I use AG1. And I also love that my nutrition gaps when I'm on the road and not eating exactly like I should be are getting filled and I'm staying healthy. All right, we're gonna take it into the uh, condo via the back route. Head to the link in our video description now to get a year's supply of vitamin D3K2 and five free travel packs with your first purchase. And this is a game changer for supporting your immune system. Again, Athletic Greens is going to give my community an immune supporting free one year supply of vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. Thanks again to Athletic Greens for sponsoring our video. Let's get back to work. I just realized we're doing something really ridiculous. We're making hardware for these drawers and you know, when it comes down to it, we're doing stupid things. Like I'm tapping, drilling and tapping these tiny little blocks so that we can attach the hardware from the back and have hidden fasteners. So Jason is here with a 1024 tap, drilling through this hole and uh, putting the threads in there for me. And I'm actually screwing the pieces on that are gonna get welded on so that when I weld them, the holes line up perfectly and I get them perfectly centered when I weld them. These are really small parts. It's difficult to uh, align them and hold them in place while you weld. I needed two small side tables for the bed and I decided to use cookies because I really like cookie tables. What I'm gonna do with this one is just saw it into two pieces so they'll have a big flat side on the back and it'll mount right up to the wall with a metal bracket that I'll make like a support, basically a giant piece of angle iron. It'll screw to the wall and then screw to the bottom of the table. Should be super strong and super beautiful. I let Ashley pick through all the cookies that I have that are about the right size for this project. And she picked out this one that has a lot of character and it has kind of lobes, I would call it, that give it kind of a unique shape. I'm pretty sure that this is locust wood. It grows locally here where I live in North Carolina. It's everywhere. And uh, not all of them though have this cool kind of shape to it. So this is a unique piece and it's the only one I have like this. Special delivery. Special delivery. Of yeah, some stuff. <laughs> Look at this thing. It might fall at the back. I had to go up the hill kind of fast. Nice. There you are. Everything is quality except for the wheels. I mean, they're nice. Wait till you see the handles on them. <laughs> it only took a whole day to make them. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Right. Let's see what happens. Wow. Wow. Does it work? That looks fancy. I dare you to call Jamie and tell him none of those fit. They were all too wide. I'll, I'll give you 10 bucks. <laughs> like 3 sixteenths inch too wide. He'd have a heart attack. I really like these rolling baskets. They make this whole thing look really built in and like it was really thought out. And they do have handles for them. And they said that those handles probably cost, would you say $300 each to make? Because they were handmade. We're, we're joking. We 
Oh yeah, may, they're joking, but not really. So uh, right now you can't you can't actually pull these out. So definitely need definitely need the handles unless you got really narrow fingers. You ready for this, Arlo? I don't know. I'm okay. gonna strap this thing on your back. <laughs> you oh, can is just that carry it? like a mule. Is it? Oh, you go like this. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. And don't put it all the way back in. Leave it about leave it about yay far off the wall. About yay far. Yeah. So um, how far is yay far? Again? Wait, is it, it's not turned on, right? Turn it on. No, it's it's running. Okay, Bless here we you. go. Here. Yeah. Ready? Um, Look out. Oh yeah, you guys are... See, I mean, my yeah. pose. Yeah, that's good. John, you got a camera behind you. Yes! Oh yeah. <laughs> Sorry. It makes it to where you're not trying to scoop it up. Maybe. Did we check whether it fits to the door sideways? No. I'll bet it doesn't. <laughs> oh, I think you gotta go the other way in or else you gotta turn it in there. See, so, yeah, it's got it. <sighs> nice. What would be sweet is if by the end of the day we can get everything cleared out of here and get Jamie's trash trailer and get all the trash out of here and have it just clean, ready to decorate. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's possible. The day goes slow as you keep piddling the mm, We're going to step on the gas. John was working on getting these brackets screwed in down here to the big wood plank, and he was hitting on the chuck, the big chuck here, that guy, and he's got a mini extendo chuck which I don't think I've ever seen one of those before, so that you get a little more side room. Let me give it a shot. A little bit. Pretty cool. Jono showed up with like all kinds of cool stuff after Christmas. All, <laughs> <laughs> all Milwaukee, all red, all cool. Uh, all right, see what we got here. Jono, do you have that little ratchet thing on? It's behind the sink. I'm afraid to go too far. Yeah, I wouldn't go too far. That's good. Harlow said he got something for Christmas too. No, I, I, it's like <laughs> it, it catch, catches bits and you can mm. go into tight spaces. and. Mm, I don't want to do anything that requires that thing. Yeah, it, but you know, it's no, good. That's pretty cool. I like it. How high do you want the TV? How high is it supposed to go? Uh, I would say center five feet would be the normal, if I just had to guess. There is some crazy math equation, like dividing the height of the TV and then adding 17 to yeah. your visual sitting height or something crazy. If you want me to just do it, I'll do it. Let's do the math. All right. <laughs> What do you perfect. think? It's perfect. What? That's a lot. Are you serious? <laughs> first shot. Hey. That's exactly I thought I myself on that one. First shot, it's the right height, we're done. Love it. Let's go home. Right, let's go home. <laughs> is, is it centered that way? Uh, it's good. If you can't tell, it's not centered. It's centered. <laughs> sucked in. Yeah, I never watched this one. Like, I don't, <laughs> I like, wow. I don't think I'm on I've, TV. I've never seen this one. That's it for our video today. Thanks for building with us. And if you haven't already, remember to get subscribed, uh, give us a thumbs up and click the notifications bell. Uh, doing those things really helps us out on YouTube if you enjoy our content. And so we'd appreciate that. Also make sure to check out the video description. There's links down there. We sell merch. We sell tool belts that are awesome. One of the guys on our crew has his own YouTube channel. There's a link down there, Jason. Uh, so that's fun. And we will see you on the next one. Down that mountain. <laughs> yeah, the trail's up that way. I'm gonna help you out. <laughs>